Good morning. morning from Skagway. We're here. We are ready to start our day. It's about uh, quarter to eight. We're going to grab a quickie <laughs> breakfast because we have a nine o'clock tour with Southeast Tours called the Yukon Discovery Tour. We need our passports. Yes. <laughs> We're going into Canada proper to do some fun things today. We've never done that in Skagway. No. Yeah. Um, we were thinking about renting a car because there's mm -hmm. like an Avis and a couple of other guys in town, but this was a slightly more affordable option with people who know what they're doing. So exactly. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> we are up at the Ore Dock today. Sapphire Princess is at the Broadway Dock, so we'll see her again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think well, there's a little confusion over our meeting point because some tours, they said their 8 o'clock tour meets at the pier. Mm -hmm. The 10.30 tour meets at the popcorn shop. Well, we're a 9 o'clock tour and they didn't specify, so we're just going to mosey our happy little butts out there and see what happens. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We always do. First, quick breakfast, so yeah. come on. Tacos and burritos look like the winner today, and it looks like they're set up exactly like Blue Iguana. Yes, there are all the choices that look very familiar. The toppings bar is over here by the beverage station. That's another mystery solved. Ooh, bing bong. Burritos have been acquired. The announcement from Neil was that they're getting ready to move the gangway from deck three, I think because of the tide. So basically, get off now, or it might take a minute for them to reset the gangway. So we're gonna eat. Well, I just called like a smart person and they said, meet at the popcorn shop for the nine o'clock. One picture with the eagle. Good morning, eagle. Yes, good morning. <laughs> Well, we made it before the gangway change, so we're technically in port from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. tonight. Nice long day. Back on board 7.30. We're just going to hit this tour zone and hang it right down the sidewalk. Now there's the train getting ready to pick up folks. We're going to go this way to town. Hello, princess. Just keep walking, walking, walking. What do we do? We walk. So our symbol of the day is the purple square. There she is, the cute downtown. So this puts us at First Avenue and we have to walk all the way to Second Avenue. <laughs> Boom, Southeast Tours and Yukon Heath's Popcorn Shop. Well, we're all checked in. We need to escape the smell of this um, delicious popcorn. Holy moly, that's tempting. Oh yeah, right across from Red Onion. And there's birds. I love that building. The birds just make it a little more ominous. <laughs> so about quarter till, they'll start loading up the buses. I don't think we're going to have time to make it down to Glacial Coffee today because they close at like 2 o'clock and our tour runs from 9 to 6? No, not, it's a 6 hour tour. I can do math. 9 to 3. Yeah, I think we'll just miss them. Well, this appears to be our ride. Woo so who wants a vegetarian? <laughs> All right, just a bunch of chickens, got it. Yeah. Nice, we've got to pick either a barbecue chicken lunch or lentils over rice. Everyone went with the chicken. Shocking. <laughs> Anybody on the bus named Mike? Looking for a Mike? All right, that concludes the Mike check. <laughs> they only get worse from here, I'm sorry. <laughs> stop here at Bridal Vale Falls. We're getting closer to the border. Still in the U.S. at this point. That's pretty. Oh, there's a little rainbow over there. I don't know if it comes out on the camera. Oh, out here. Yeah, you get a little mist. Cool you right off. Supposed to be 75 or 78 today, I think, where we're going, so warm. Just be careful of the road, he said, because some people do take that corner a little tight. Oh, look at you documenting some nature over here. <laughs> oh, we've made a photo stop here at Summit Lake. Oh, I can feel that breeze. Let me see if I can block some of that breeze just in case it's messing with the microphone. Here's where they keep their D's in the breeze at Summit Lake. Summit Spin! Yeah, we've already crossed the border. We're in Canada. The air is great up here. I think as we 
I guess we're going to descend to where we're going. Yeah. The further inland we go, the warmer it gets. Because it's supposed to be a little warm one today. It's nice right now. This is nice. A couple of patches of snow holding on on top of the mountain. <laughs> All right, on we ride. rail cars because I forget you can do the tours there. Where are we headed to? Uh, we're going to car crossing or uh, caribou crossing. Well, we passed the test. <laughs> we look like ourselves. <laughs> Clearly. Well, our guide said this was one of his favorite stops, Lake Bernard. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can kind of look back over there and see some of the uh, buildings toward, well, not the border, but the customs area that we just came through. Oh, yeah, you can see the train over there again. The rail tracks down below. Oh, that breeze. And I've got some learning here about the town of Fraser. It's Jamie Fraser. Now, on approach to Car Cross. Maybe if we make it all the way up to Dawson City, we can find some gold in them there hills. <laughs> no, probably not. Y'all ready to head off to our next spot? Yeah. Well, time to go. We got another photo stop here. This is Lake. Kajagugu. No, Lake Tushai. T U T S H I, which he pronounced Tushai. Means charcoal. Charcoal. We can observe some flora. We haven't seen much in the way of fauna, but we're keeping our eyes peeled for any nature opportunities. This is the photo op for the Welcome to the Yukon sign. Larger than life. Plus grand que nature. Photo op acquired. Let's come up here and see the wares for sale. We've got two dollar waters, some chocolate bars, dollar chips. How much for the dog? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are there coffee crisps here? Okay, you know I need these. Uh, oh, cool magnets, earrings. Oh, cool, they've got art done on rail spikes. So I guess this is the point where you officially leave British Columbia and you enter Yukon proper. Scenic stop is here at Bove Island. So we've got some informational signs down there. Any nature out there? <laughs> well, it's more flora still. Not much in the way of fauna. <laughs> All these craggy rocks and rocky crags. Back on we go. This stop is the Car Cross Desert. Very sandy out here. I guess all this was deposited by glaciers a long time ago. It slid through here, ground up the rocks, and now there's a desert. <laughs> In Canada. Yeah. <laughs> well, looks like they may have restrooms over there. We can do some learning about this desert. That's cool though. It stretches across both sides of the highway. Ooh. Now all we need is an actual beach. We are here. So this is our main destination of the tour. Oh, you've got your admission ticket, which does include lunch. Yeah. There's like a petting area. There's puppies. Let's explore. 
a barbecue lunch over there, restrooms this way. For puppies, he said follow the footprints, but I think I'll restroom first. There were a couple of good restroom stops along the way too. All right, taking care of business. So I think this whole complex is called Caribou Crossing. I've seen a couple of other signs. Not to be confused with Caribou Crossing Coffee, which was back in Carcross. Anyway, let's explore. I'll see there's a museum. Is it a barbecue museum? Oh no, it just says museum one way, barbecue the other way. Oh, we have found the footprints. The footprints seem to be leading us into the wildlife museum and gift shop. Oh, I see, okay, out the door on the other side of the gift shop. Oh, they have gold panning. Oh, it's a whole wonderland back here. We found some fauna. They're so cute. Are these dogs? These are weird looking dogs. <laughs> I might make them mad. Okay, no. Hello. Yeah, there is a petting uh, <laughs> section here. I guess maybe it is goat petting. Because as we've learned, tails up means goats, tails down means sheep. Now these guys are, these are obviously goat looking. So gold panning said $20. I see they have alpaca treats for $2 because spoiler alert, there's an alpaca. There's a donkey and a horse. Oh, a horse over there. Yeah, I see a sign that says spirit. Oh, it might be honor system alpaca treats actually. Yeah, let's say hey first. Oh, I see two alpacas. Uh, pff, well, you can try. There's brown paca and white paca. That's what I do when we're getting ready for a cruise. I'll pack a bag. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, he's like, no. If you didn't buy the treats, you get no love. <laughs> Denied. That's funny. No, we are not fooling these alpacas. Y'all don't spit, do you? He looked at me like he wanted to spit at me. That's a camel. I don't know. Please don't spit at me. Everybody else is at the puppy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got distracted by these animals before. Oh, hey. Hi, He's like, oh, I see the camera. Yeah, I see a sign over there that says puppies. Spirit. Okay. Now, I don't see any horse treats. Oh, you're giving us your good angle there, aren't you? Now, you're not both named Spirit, of course. You're so little. Oh. You don't spit, do you? <laughs> I don't want to know what a horse spits out that end. Hey, little friend. Yeah, there's lots of flies. It's a natural fly swatter happening here. I think your friend is actually helping to keep the flies off of you. It's very kind. Hi. Oh, thank you. You made a friend officially. Oh, you're beautiful. You're itchy, huh? I know. It's okay. Man, those puppies sound mad. <laughs> Goat jokes. Ah, that's cart rides over there. This looks like it's the puppy zone. Oh, this is a much calmer zone. Oh dear, there's puppies everywhere. Please do not feed the puppies. They've got hand sand. <gasps> Baby puppies. Oh no. Gosh, you can hear those cart ride dogs. This little puppy's so tired or you know, warm, staying in the shade. What are they doing? Oh, they're pulling like a motorized car. Yeah, so they're not really pulling. They drive that cart and let the dogs run in front of it. These guys are excited. All right, we're gonna sneak back over here and see if we can play with some dogs. This is where we're gonna start using our doggy voices. Everybody has a doggy voice, right? Where you're like, oh, you go be true, and you just make syllables that mean nothing. Tell me in the comments, you've got a doggy voice, right? It goes like this, hey, you puppy, puppy. That's how doggy voices go. <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna get in the middle of that <laughs> Oh, are you the puppy whisperer? <laughs> you got a puppy drive-by. <laughs> we decided I mean, to, they're puppies. to they have very short attention. Yeah, to sit over here on this bench to like be a little more on their level. Yeah, not scare them. Oh, there they are. Cute. Guys, you can adopt a puppy. What the heck? We might. Do you think it'll fit in Dee's backpack? Mm. Oh, you're gonna pet this vicious puppy. Grr, grr, grr. Guys, <laughs> this puppy, there's gonna be a lot of puppy voices in this video, okay? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're very soft. <laughs> it's just like you talk to your snorkel friends, except we can understand you because you're on land. Puppy tea. Puppy tea. Super. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> so cute. <laughs> oh, there's too many animals to see. All right, let's go see more. Let's go see more. Hey, donkeys, we'll be there in a minute. Oh, well, let's go look at the big dogs. 
We're getting ready to go on some more rides. Start your engines! And they're off! Oh, we got Buttercup and Ringo. There we go, I can actually see their faces now. Hey, friends! Aww. <laughs> Yeah, I see they got special donkey treats that you can buy too. <laughs> well, or they'll just eat the Don't everything. Eat the no. That's offensive. Oh, they're special. It was like $20 donkey food. No, that's the gold panning, so. $2 goat, donkey, and horse treats. Oh, you found, is this more alpacas? I love the hairdos. He's like, no, don't touch me. I like, ignore this sign. Okay, guys, don't look at that. He's yeah. like, nope. It's like, unless you have food, it ain't happening. All right, let's stroll over. What's happening? Oh, the goats are getting excited. Let's go grab some lunch, and then we'll see how much time we've got left to walk around after. Sounds good. All right, hands sanitized. Let's go into the barbecue. There we go. Chicken, potato, coleslaw. Ah, cutlery and oh, more stuff inside. Oh, what's dinging? Oh, we got our cutlery, coffee. Oh wow, I guess the bread, donuts are included. Sure, I'll take a donut. So there is the official lineup. We've got, I guess what you call that, a leg quarter? Leg and a thigh. Tato coleslaw, some bread with butter, and uh, looks like a cinnamon donut. Well, we are all fed up. <laughs> that was really good. It was, but you know what? We still have about a half an hour, so back to the animals. <laughs> ah, back out into the sunshiny world. Oh yeah, they also have a wildlife museum and a mountie museum. Hmm. Oh, so this is, yeah, up here you could have got the goat, donkey, horse treats. And then there's also the separate alpaca treats. Okay. Treats acquired and the goat knows exactly what's up. <laughs> yeah. He's a smart one. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I see how this goes. <laughs> see how this goats, I should say. All right, we got some alpaca treats. Yeah, they're, they're your friends now. <laughs> this is how this works. Oh, they love you now. Aww, that was gentle, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely different treats. That's more of small pellets. And the ones we got <laughs> here in the horse bag are sort of like <laughs> larger biscuits. Yeah. Can I pet you now? Is that your llama voice or your alpaca no, voice? <laughs> no, they don't want to be petted. They just want to eat. Oh, I understand, good. I'm the same way. <laughs> Trade me out for the horse bag. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know they do. We didn't get to see you very well earlier because you were hiding. <laughs> what? What? The other one is peeing. Oh, okay. Yeah, please block the view of bathroom okay, time. Okay. Yeah, no, this one wants to eat while the other one that we can't see wow. has bathroom time. Here it takes all of them. Um, that was very fast. It's what? <laughs> Wild nature happening here behind. I think that was the first documented horse farts ever heard in one of our vlogs. Everybody has to go to the Nice. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> oh no, you were tempted by the babies. Oh wow. Let's get some inside action. Hey. Wow. <laughs> they just, they're so gentle. All right, we got a fresh bag of donkey approved treats. You're very gentle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you were the one that was eating the fence. Oh yeah, earlier. let's see if other donkey wants some like treats. Oh, he just loves to chew on the fence. <laughs> yes, very nice. They know that crinkle bag. Let's see, who's the more aggressive over here? I think this one closest, oh no. Maybe they're both like yum. <laughs> Is he a nipper? Is he gonna use those no. teeth? Oh. Nom nom nom. A little You're frightening. Like <laughs> He goes for the jab. Hey, be gentle. Headbutt. <laughs> That's why it ends up, and then he just spills it all over the ground. You spilled it. They save it for later. They just knock it out of your hand and save it for later. Are you gonna be gentle? Okay. That, no, no, was, no. that was better. <laughs> they, <laughs> do not try to pet do that not. alpaca. <laughs> they are not about it. All right, we've exhausted all of our food for our little friends. The dogs are getting excited over there. Well, we got a few minutes left. Let's take a peek at all this plaid. Look at this kiff shop. Bear cheeks. Wow. Oh, I like it. I want to buy one of these. That's very cute. I don't think that's for sale. 
That is cute. Well, let's take a quick jig through the wildlife gallery. It says, take as many photos as you like. There's restrooms over there. Yeah, this should be included in our admission because we have stickers. What are you? Whale vertebrae? No, whale skull. We saw you guys outside. Well, relatives. No, they weren't. There's some good photo ops in here. There are. Oh, cool. All the nature, just in case you can't find it on your own. No, she has it. In exhibit form. They are cute. Oh, this room may be more than I can bear. Oh. Oh. Dedicated to Yukon's wildlife. Yeah, there's like a bison buffalo over here too. Is that a woolly mammoth? What is going on? Uh, well, past and present, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh gosh, it scared me. <laughs> oh, you cute and chunky. <laughs> okay, this is kind of fascinating. Uh -huh. Is this? Is this like, is this like taxidermy or is this like, you know, recreated artwork? I actually don't know. Well, that's true. Woolly Mammoth might be a, yeah. Okay, Woolly Mammoth. Yikes. Oh, you have a very interesting nose. I've never seen that. What did the dad say to his kid when he went off to school? Bye. Bye, son. Okay, Gosh. let's get out of here. <laughs> that joke was too much to bear. <laughs> There's also a little Mountie Museum over here for the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Yeah. Okay, it's just like one nice little small room to do some learning. Not as many woolly mammoths in here. Creaky. Oh. No touchy. Oh, what have got? Snacks just in case you need them for the road. Yep, let's load back up. scenic stop here at Emerald Lake which is looking very reflective and greeny today that's the result of I guess this used to all be underwater and the glaciers ground up the coral reefs that used to be here and it made this phenomenon from the ground up fine powder of the coral reefs Ooh. it is you can zoom in on some particularly reflective green patches over here that's cool. It's like the northern lights in the water. Yeah, kind of. I also like this whole sort of ring phenomenon going on over here. I don't know if that's just because of depth. All right, so we're back on the bus. This was our furthest stop. Yeah. Now we're going to turn around and start making our way back toward Alaska, Tagway, and all that good like stuff. Two hours, maybe? I think so. Yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood. We'll see. So pretty. Made another stop here. I guess this is Lake Tushai again, just to check out all this fireweed and all these colors, and to get some fresh air. I love this breeze. Yes, we will take every stop we can take to get some nature. Oh, and the sign that says Avalanche Zone. Wait, why does it say no stopping Avalanche Zone? Maybe I shouldn't stand near that sign. Got some bees down here, just minding their beeswax. Back on the bus, Gus. Another scenic stop. Now this one we missed on the way up. So this is a new one. Oh, we got a little pond down there. Well, we're gonna use this little nature trail. We're told that you can dip your hands in the water down here. Alright, you're recording, right? <laughs> Just gonna shove her in. <laughs> she loves to snorkel. This could be that. her snorkeling spot. Yeah, you can swim in that. Wow, let's do it. How long we got? <laughs> Ten minutes. Ah. No, not even. 
Oh, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're cool with being late, <laughs> have a snorkel no trip. Right now, I'm cool with <laughs> Well, we'll just take in a little bit more scenery here. Enjoy this fresh air. It is like, I mean, you know, the air up here is super pure. Looks like a little water down there. All right, let's climb this nature trail back up. <laughs> Very easy nature trail. <laughs> nature. All right, back to the bus we go. Very slowly, I'm gonna walk slowly to the bus. I'm in no hurry. To the United States. Gotta get a picture with the Alaska sign. Of course. Yeah, we got that photo op. Oh, Klondike Highway Gold Rush Centennial. Do a little peek in here. Tour bus just pulled in behind us, so we were taking pictures with the quickness. That's so no need to be coy, Roy. with that literally everyone chose to get off here at the top of town and stroll because it is such a nice day and a pretty town to walk in yeah so he dropped us off right about 8th avenue i'd say oh there goes the bus now actually and there's the end of town literally just in front of us purple squares for the win Ooh, we found the breeze over here fresh and clean and eat some food time. Yep. My favorite time of the day. <laughs> so how was your day puttering around? Gosh, we're, our color is changing oh. as we sit here and talk. Anyway. Oh no, today was good. Um, we've never gone mm -hmm. into Canada. Uh, not from this from way. Skagway. <laughs> yeah, not from, not from Skagway. We've been to Canada. Yeah. Um, so that was really cool. The whole bus drive was so beautiful mm -hmm. and scenic. We had several places to stop. There was there animals. Stops. The food was delicious. Our guide was hilarious. He, was, he had a lot of Jay humor as well. Mm -hmm. It was funny. Um, you could hear everything. My only complaint, <laughs> and this is a, a warning to you guys, if yeah. you are on this tour and you're in a bus similar size to ours, do not, I repeat, do not sit in the very back, back if it room. is hot because the air conditioning cannot get to you. Yeah. And we had some people that were like complaining because it was cold because they were trying to like cool everyone down. Yeah. And so we turned it off. And we were all sweltering. But then he turned it back on, but people were still complaining. And they were, and they were playing musical chairs, and it was just a whole ordeal, and it was stupid. Yeah, that's what but we anyway. learned. But anyway. That's what we learned is the air condition, or technically heat, does not go yeah. into the back seat. And we had, I refer to them as some brittle people. They were, <laughs> y'all. They need more meat on their bones is what they I'm trying to say. They could have put a jacket on and like, you know, like let everybody else who was sweating to death like have some air instead that's of true. being the only people who claimed. But anyway, that's not the tour fault it's not, at all. It's not. That's just some warning to you. Don't sit in the back if yeah. you would like air. Yeah. My thought is you probably brought layers. You can put on stuff to be <laughs> warmer. I can't take anything else off without being indecent to be cooler. And it wasn't cooler. just us. There was other people who were very Yo, I was in shorts and the short sleeve shirt and I was sweating. 
thing, but it was great overall. <laughs> it was a very good tour. Lots yeah. of pretty scenic opportunities, and the animals were so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Southeast Tours, I'll throw mm -hmm. the links in the description, as always. Yes. That's all I know. Dinner time. Yeah. Let's eat. <laughs> Bye. Don't get your head tonight. Gosh, that's close. <laughs> Ooh, we're the first ones in tonight, so we can do some annex basking. We are eating as soon as the doors open tonight, because there is a seven o'clock show that we really want to try to see. So here we are. strolling up toward the theater. Well, we got here just as soon as the doors open. Steve is still setting up the Alaska state flag. We are ready for this presentation. We didn't even talk about what we are here for. Steve Heights is one of the highlights of our Carnival Alaska cruising experience. He, yes, he hops on a carnival ship typically in Skagway and does his storytelling history of Alaska through song. He lives here, so yeah. that's convenient. It's definitely one of my favorite things about Carnival Cruises to Alaska, mm -hmm. at least on most of the ships. I don't know if he can do every ship. Yeah, if there's two Carnival ships in, I don't know how they pick and choose where he's going to be. <laughs> but eeny, meeny, miny, mo. But don't miss it if you have the opportunity. It's really good. Yeah, it's a lot of history. It's a lot of fun. Yep. We're going to watch it. You too. <laughs> this gentleman has been performing on Carnival Cruise Lines for 29 years. He has been performing on Carnival since our very first ship that made its way up here through the inside passage. North to Alaska, go north the direction on. Do it, and she rises her line in the morn. While the engineer would take his not finding the engine roll, all to myself, a long tasty walk of truck. Eight stars of gold on a field of blue, the simple flag of a last frontier. Thank you for coming, North. God bless you all. See you soon. Cabin. We have come back to the room to find a cute little, I'm going to presume, bear. Rawr. He's ready to watch some TV, apparently. Hmm. Me too, Bear. Good, Good night. night. We're back in the cabin. We gotta go to bed, because um, we have an early, early thing tomorrow. You'll see. Holy moly. All right, so what have we got to talk about? Pretty much um, Steve? the show, yeah, Steve yeah. Heights. Steve Heights. He is an excellent storyteller. Mm. I just love the way he does it. And even though this is the third time we've seen it, I'm still always fascinated and interested. And, you know, you forget little bits and pieces. So then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's how oh, it goes. Oh, that part. So, like I said before, definitely go check it out. Mm -hmm. He's, like, one of Carnival's best things, I think, personally. Yeah, for almost like, for 30 Alaska. years, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just love it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, let's ding, ding, ding. That's how that goes. You had a Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Mm. Caesary. <laughs> it's like, how do you talk about salad? The salad was amazing. It was really good. Was it, how was the dressing? Was it over anchovy? Anchovy? No, it? it was a good. It was one. appropriate. Yeah. Okay. I had fried hunks of cheese, and y'all were they fried hunks of cheese? They were super cheesy, super cheese pull. The tomato sauce, what's it called? Marinara? It was excellent. I would eat nine hunks of cheese, but then I would have other problems. Oh no. <laughs> There's your. Sh that wasn't me, y'all. No, that wasn't me having problems. They're doing something room. outside. And they're moving furniture. That's me if I have too much cheese. <laughs> shrimp cocktail. Oh, it was very good. I love the cocktail sauce and the shrimp were cooked perfectly. Yum, yum. Mm, nice. Were the tails crunchy? I didn't eat okay, that part. Anyway. <laughs> I had the pulled boar. This is actually one of the better pieces of pulled boar I've had. I always like it, but this one, something about it was just really good. It was so tender. Everything blended well. 
I don't know. I ain't got nothing bad to say about that. Yeah. Pig out. Um, you had the salmon cakes. Again, I had salmon. You, salmon cakes yeah. are probably one of my favorite carnival dinner menu items, though. And I always order a baked potato on the side just because it's just two pieces of salmon cakes with, like, some spinach otherwise. Mm -hmm. So good. I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, your baked potato wasn't in that picture, but I did take a picture yeah, of it. It was just a baked potato. I had some of that potato. sauce on it. It was good. Oh, true. Uh, I had the pork chop. Now, it was cooked well. You know what? It's easy to mess up a pork chop, but this one was cooked well, flavored well. I even gave you a little hunk of it. It was and, good. It tasted mm -hmm. buttery. It did. Potatoes are good. Green beans are good. So, I mean, I've had a, I had a really pleasant meal overall. Yeah. Uh, there is your double roasted pineapple. One of my favorite sugar-free desserts. Um, just roasted pineapple and some sort of like cream and like I think they make like the graham cracker oh, the cookie heart. things, whatever they are, but they're really tasty. Love it. Ooh. And I had the bitter and blanc, and it was it, now this one was cooked a little less than normal, but I didn't mind it. It kind of made it yeah. like a gooey melting cake bitter and blanc. <laughs> Um, the sauce, the little cinnamon sauce, always goes well with it. White chocolate, dark chocolate, so mm, it was a perfect end to my meal. This was a really was solid a dinner. Really good dinner, yeah. yeah. I haven't really had any food issues. You know, we told you we're going to no. keep an eye out for any food issues. I haven't really had any Not so far. Not so far, because I mean, we do a lot of carnival and we know what things usually mm. taste like. They taste like that, so I'm happy. Yeah, me too. Because at the beginning of the trip, I should say, I was going to decide if I was going to try to order things I don't normally get or that I do normally get, and I'm going with the do normally get place so I can compare them. Exactly. Anyway, <laughs> bedtime. See you early. Early. Tomorrow. Yes, so excited. Bye. Good night.